Hi everyone, my name is Justin Gast, and I am here today to talk about the DIA Diagram Editor, which is a open source, open source product that uh, does a lot of what Microsoft Visio does, and uh, I'll just do a brief overview of kind of how the tool works and all its different little properties of it. Here's the web page for to go and install it. You do have to install it. It's a it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. So which is everyone. So just right here, click whichever it should default to what your operating system is. So just go ahead and install it. And uh, I already have it installed here on my Mac. As you can see here up at the top, it's like a normal application. The file edit view, layers, objects, select tools, input methods, and help. Here are the icons for like new and open and save. And save as. Generally, if you hover over something, it should tell you what it does, but apparently, unless it does not, I would guess the Windows version does, because it seems more to be more user friendly in that aspect. Okay, so let's see. Here, here we go. Modify objects, text edits, magnify, scroll, polygon, ellipse, box, text. I'm gonna try and pronounce that. <laughs> and then you know, these are all just three different types of lines. And here's your, in this box is all the different types of things you can do. I'm not real familiar with Vizio, but I've made flowcharts on it before, so for now, I'm just going to stay to the flowchart option. Here we can just, you know, So it's very basic on how this type of program is. Its main difference is it's not as flashy as, say, Vizio is. It's not as uh, resource intensive, so it doesn't use as much RAM or processing power. So it's just a nice free tool that you can use in conjunction with anything you would use Vizio for. So very straightforward. Again, it's not as flashy and showy as the Zio is. Um, but it's a free tool. Like I'm just doing this right now, and this is the first time I've used it, and it seems to be pretty easy to navigate. Um, the normal edit options: copy, cut, paste, duplicate. Delete my place, different views, the layers. Objects to me these seem a lot like what you do with layers. Granted, I'm not too familiar with that type of thing. But what is nice is with this is what you can do is once you're done. be able to use it in uh, something we can put online or yes here we go PNGs just easy graphic objects um, JPEG it seems like the most you'd probably use is the JPEG or PNG or PDF 
file, which we can put into, say, an LMS or anything like that. Again, see, very easy and simple to use. Um, I'm sure we can get color in here somehow, as I'd like to think so. I'll try and do that here. A lot of times with these uh, free and open source tools, they lack a little bit of um, depth, but I believe this one is color right here. I'm going to make some sort of red shape. Funnily enough, I'm not sure we're going to get what we want. Maybe I'll try something new to make it that color, yeah. So just select the color first and then choose your shape and draw it. Which I'm not sure if Vizio works that way or not. With every little program, there's tweaks and stuff you have to figure out how it actually works. That's why most people don't venture into the free and open source stuff, because it's not something we've been taught by traditional standards, like every Microsoft product. So this is just a brief little overview of how Dia works. Um, I'm a very strong advocate of open source software, so I recommend everyone try this out and try and make it useful for you. Uh, that's it for now. I'm Justin Gast, and this has been a preview of the Dia Diagram tool. Thank you for your time.